What's going on, y'all? This is Loki. And this is Key, and we're Loki. So today we want to talk about, um, we just have like some things we want to touch on. Are you seeking solutions or are you observing problems? And um, what I mean by that is, are we so caught up in looking at the problem of a thing to the point where we're not looking for the solution first? So majority of the time when you aren't looking for a solution, well, anytime you're not in a positive um, mindset or a positive vibration, because we all know that we are energy beings and we function off of the energy that we put out. So the more that the more you feel good, the more you allow and you're in a positive vibration. So if you're looking for a solution, you feel good. You know, that's a feel good vibration. But when you're focusing on the problem, you get more of that problem. So are you looking at the situation from a standpoint of finding a solution or are you observing the problem and you're a lot of times we influence others by focusing on the problem so because you're negative and you feel negative you influence others and you make them feel negative and if you're the other person and you're pitying and you are sympathizing with a person that is a negative vibration and you're helping them miscreate so you want to come from a standpoint of finding a solution looking at the situation as if it's already done and how to find the way out of it it's real like somebody would call you with a problem you know and you got to think to yourself, is this person telling me this problem because he or she is seeking solutions? Or is that just the vibration? Either way, if you vibrate in with a solution-based mindset, you have to come down in order to give solutions to bring the vibration of both of you back up. But nine and a half times out of ten, that person talking about problems because they, that what they do. Yeah. <laughs> and they was never seeking a solution. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to sit in the problem with them. Mm -hmm. Because it's easier. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it causes, it uses less energy to talk about the problem and to play the victim. You know, you blame it on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And the energy that they should have used or didn't use on your situation. Mm -hmm. Because you're right, when you approach a problem and if you think solution, you immediately feel better. Yeah. Because you're looking at the way out. Absolutely. The problem is that way out requires the use of energy. You know? Mm -hmm. And most people, like, it costs too much for mm -hmm. them to, you know, that's why it's very few people mm -hmm. like that. You know, it's easier to sit back in the problem. And what was me? They ain't send my stimmy, my stimulus check yet. You know what I'm saying? It's their fault. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you plug into the problem and you seeking solutions. Mm -hmm. Most people, man, sad to say, like, they observing the problem. Absolutely. They're observing the problem. Absolutely. And when you observe the problem, you're going to get more of that. It's going to so, expand. Yeah, everything is just, it's like you amplifying that vibration. You're making it bigger than what it is. And when you do that, you get more of that negative feeling and you start feeling worse. And then you influence. Like I said, the power of influence. Influence is very powerful. And you can take that anyway if you can influence the negative or you can influence the positive but when you got a negative 
person or a negative situation and all they see is the negative and you're a positive, your positive um, mindset can influence them to find a solution as well. But when you sympathize and you pity them and you, oh, that, no, when you do that, that's going to make it worse. And both of y'all are miscreating and then you got a co-creation of a miscreated mess. Yep. You don't want that. You don't yep. want that. You want to be the person that can connect with another person on the level of let's solution find. Let's find a, a solution. Let me help you find a solution. Or let me picture that person is already, the, the situation is already um, dissolved. Yep. You can do it that way, you know? A lot of people, when they come talking about problems, it's just like... That's what they, they problems, they talking about the problems. Like, mm -hmm. if you spend your time talking about the problems, like, it's expanding. We putting our focus on that. You know what I'm saying? And taking your eyes off of the actual solution. So is this individual, like, really in tune with the solution? Because mm -hmm. if they were, if you were, we wouldn't be talking about the problem. So, so you bullshitting anyway from the jump. That's why we got to make this video. <laughs> because if you were focused on the solution, we wouldn't even be trying to tell you how to focus on the solution. Because you know you're observing the problem. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think it'd be the environment coming up like, you know, you're not going to know this unless Lord Key tell you. Yeah. For real. Yeah. You ain't know this until just now. And believe it or not, we've experienced it. Like we've experienced it. It's not something that we don't know about. I'm talking about we've been there. You yep. know? We've been there. And when I identify. Mm hmm And when you identify it and you know what you know, what you're doing wrong, take accountability and you move forward. So whenever we're presented with a problem, we're looking for solutions right out the bat. But we gotta realize also that if you have a problem, you created it. It's some mindset, something that you did, like you prepaved that thing. Yeah. So the way that you're thinking, the way that you're moving, those actions that you took before you got to the problem, you did that. Yeah. So you need to find a solution. Don't look for nobody else to give you the answers. You need to look for it within, find a solution and not look at the problem. And if it's a problem and you solution based, you say, I'm going to plug into this problem and I'm going to look for a solution. You will grow yeah, from looking. Like, you will level up from mm -hmm. looking at that solution because it, it takes energy yes. and it's in the right direction. Now, mm -hmm. it also takes energy to come down to a person level and you'll get off the phone. Say, if you're trying to pull somebody up, they was never really looking for a solution. So every time you give them a solution, they go on to some other shit. Yeah. So you get off the phone, you feeling like you didn't, you drained it because you giving right. these solutions and these people just using you for your ear. That's yeah. why if you notice, if you get on the phone like with real successful people like you can't just talk to them about a bunch of problems they're not gonna listen and that's how you gotta be yeah people need to feel like they can't call you to talk about some regular problematic and if they are then you have to examine yourself mm -hmm. because for some reason you pull it they feel comfortable doing that pulling that energy up so you're it. not mm -hmm. doing enough work on yourself you're not understanding that our energy is finite. Yes. Although very powerful, it's finite. We only here for a finite period of time. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. our energy is powerful. And mm -hmm. we made a video, you can lose energy through your ears by listening. What you listening to, they pulling it out your ear because mm -hmm. you giving them your ear. You trying to give them positive solutions. But they don't want, they sitting back in their BS. So let them stay there. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, everybody who call you with some problems, you need to make them feel extra uncomfortable. Exactly. Like, why are you telling me this? What? 
Don't you know talk saying? to me about that. You come to me with that. Like that's a waste of time. That mean you, like you vibrating in a way where people feel like they could, you know what I'm saying? Come at you with nonsense. Mm -hmm. Like no kind of solution or building. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? None of that. So what's something they could do to change? Be intentional and deliberate. When you face with a with a problem, look for the solution first. That's the first thing you do. Not yeah. talk about it, not go run and call somebody to talk about it. You wouldn't believe what happened. I can't believe no, nah, not none of that. Yeah. We're looking for a solution. Now when we look for a solution, we make a decision and that's it. Universe gonna always come at you with what you put out. Yeah. So you're gonna get more of what you put out. You put out negative, you're gonna get negative. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is understand that understand. we need to find a, a, a solution. Not, not the problem. Get not away with nothing. Exactly. In terms of the energy. You not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So uh be intentional. Are you solution based or are you focus on the problem? Like, think about it. Mm -hmm. You got something else, baby? That's it. This low. This is key. Number low key. Like, comment. And subscribe. Peace. Peace.